Hello everyone, this is Pauk's Professional Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. Today we are going to make a dress for Natalie. She needs a new dress. This is going to be a Chanel style dress. Have a look at the sketch. We will be making a dress on the basis of the 10 measurement cutting system. There will be two chest darts, two waist tucks. This seam will be placed 5 cm below the waist. There will be two flaps here. There will be either a pleat or a slit here. Anyway, when cutting, we'll add about 10 cm for a pleat. There will be three buttons here on the front. The button should be very beautiful. We'll make such an amazing round neckline instead of a stand collar. It will be edged with fringe. The sleeves will be pretty short and they will also be edged with fringe. The dress will be very beautiful. Natalie will look amazing in it. This is her basic pattern. We've already traced the front, the back and the sleeve. I want to ask Natalie about the length of the dress and whether she wants to make a pleat or a slit here. The pattern is accurate. This is a piece of fabric we are going to make a dress of. Natalie bought this piece of cambric to make a lining of it. This Chanel style fabric is of a very high quality. It is made of natural materials. The dress with cambric lining will be very beautiful. We had a close look at this pattern and decided to make violet fringe of it. We'll edge the neckline, the sleeves, the slit and the bottom with fringe. This is the dress we are planning to make. If we decide to change something while working, I'll tell you about it. I want you to understand that having a basic pattern, you can sew anything you want. I show you different designs and different patterns for you to learn to work with them. I like the quality of this fabric. It's very light and it stretches a bit. It's very soft to the touch. We can also make fringe at this side of fabric. In this case, the fringe will be multicolored. Very beautiful. This is what we will get if we make fringe on the cross rice grain. It took us very long to decide how to edge the details. This is what we will get if we make fringe on the likewise grain. I also want to try cutting it on a bias. I love the fabric. Natalie also loves it. I want to show you other Chanel style fabrics which we have in my fashion house. I've already showed you some of them. Some of these fabrics are light and some pretty warm. This Chanel style fabric is very strong. It has wool in its structure. The color is very beautiful. These fabrics are perfect for cold seasons. Natalie said that she wants a dress of this fabric. I think that it's very beautiful. I love the fact that there are so many different colors in it. Blue, yellow, red, the colors are very beautiful. I can't wait to look at Natalie wearing this dress. Let's start working. I'll ask Natalie to come here for me to take a couple of extra measurements of her body. The edges look this way because we tried making fringe at them. It looks very beautiful. I can't decide which one I like better. Anyway, let's start working. We'll decide what to do with it later. The fringe is very beautiful. We need to decide on the length of the dress. I think that it should end on the knee level, not below it. The length of the dress on the front is 100 cm. Let me measure the pattern. 
100 centimeters. We added 35 centimeters to the bottom of the original pattern. You can make it as long as you want. Next, we need to decide on the length of this detail. Here? I think that they can be a bit higher for the pockets not to be too low. 56 centimeters. Or 55. No, 56 centimeters would be perfect. The seam will be placed 56 centimeters down from the shoulder. I need to measure and mark 56 centimeters on the front. There will be a seam just on the front. The back will be straight. I need to draw the seam and cut it. We are not going to make this tiny tuck. We'll ignore it. I'll sign the center front. In the upper detail too. Perfect. Now I can cut the seam. That means that the front consists of the two details now. Let's have a look at the sleeve. I think that the sleeve should be tiny. This is the beginning of the sleeve. I'll alter it a bit. The sleeve will be about 4 cm wide. Be very attentive. This line should be not straight, but biased. It should end about 4 cm higher. Make sure that there is no angle here. This is the new bottom line of the sleeve. The line is not straight, but slightly round. The center sleeve is shorter than the sides. This is how the sleeve pattern will look like. Very beautiful. Have a close look at the shape of the sleeve. I love it. The sleeve is ready, the back is ready. Next, we need to alter the neckline. How much wider should it be? 2, 2.5 cm wider. Otherwise, the neckline would be too close to the neck. We need to make the neckline 2.5 cm wider. Natalie says that 2 cm would be enough. I made the front neckline 2 cm wider, so I need to make the back neckline 2 cm wider as well. I'll also make the back neckline a bit deeper. After that, I'll move on to working with the front neckline. I'm making the back neckline just a bit deeper for it to be more comfortable. We'll make the front neckline 3 cm deeper. This is how the front neckline will look like. I made it 2 cm wider and 3 cm deeper. I can cut it now. The necklines are ready. We'll alter the armholes right on fabric. What about the Novacast? I don't need to add anything. There will be fringe there. We need to pin the back pattern first. After that, we'll decide how to place the front and the sleeve. This piece of fabric is 130 cm wide. It would be much more comfortable to work with it if it was 140 cm wide. You need to either be slim or to buy two lengths to sew something of this fabric. I think I'll cut the armhole now. We'll alter it on fabric anyway. I think that we should make it 1.5 cm deeper. Have a look at it.
and making the armhole 1.5 cm deeper. Natalie spin in the back. Very nice. Be very attentive. We need to move the chest dart to the side. This is where the chest dart should be placed. Next I need to cut it and close the original one. Now we can pin the pattern. When moving chest dart, do not forget to alter the shoulder seams. A couple of extra millimeters could affect the result. This piece of fabric is 1.5 meters long. Do not forget that we need some fabric for the fringe. We'll have to pin the pattern here. I remind you that we need to add at least 10 cm for a pleat. What about the sleeve? If I pin the details this way, there won't be enough fabric for the fringe left. If I pin the detail here, there won't be enough space for the seams and the pleat left. It should be pinned here. I'm doing it because of this detail on the front. We need to add at least 10 cm for a pleat here. That's okay. We'll manage to do it. If we don't, we'll just cut a small piece of fabric. Who can stop us? Natalie, you will look amazing. Oh my, I can't wait to see you in this dress. That's it. I'll pin the details this way. I think we'll find a way to use these pieces, right? Very nice. We need to add a bit more for a seam to the upper part of the back. Notice that I pinned the pattern 5 cm away from the edge. The fabric is folded in half, so that means that I added 10 cm for a pleat. I hope that we will be able to make fringe of these pieces of fabric. Do not forget to add 2 cm for a Novacast. This is the back. This is the upper part of the front. This is the lower part of the front. And this is the sleeve. Now we can start cutting. I want to add a bit more than needed to the side seams. The fringe made of this fabric looks very beautiful. I love it. I need to add 2 cm for a nova cast at the bottom. Do not forget to add 2 cm to the front bottom as well. I'll make the shoulder seams 1.5 cm wide. Oh, these scissors are much better.
Have a look here. Notice that I added 10 centimeters for a pleat to the center front. Of course, I'm not going to make a pleat on the center front. We'll make it closer to the left side seam. Learn to work fast and easy. Don't think too much. You know that I don't like complicated designs. If I did, it, I wouldn't have so many different clothes. Будешь много париться, будешь всю жизнь голой ходить. А как-то я так и вообще не люблю голая ходить. The lower part of the front is ready. These are the upper part of the front and the lower part of the front. Very nice. Next, I need to cut the sleeve. I'm trying not to waste fabric. I still need to make facing, fringe, and some other details. I remind you that we can't make notches in such fabrics. Natalie, you will have to make spacing seams on the center sleeve and the front side. When I finish cutting, I'll show you what to do next. The sleeve is of a perfect shape. It doesn't look too simple. These are the back, the sleeve, the upper part of the front, and the lower part of the front. There is nothing complicated in this dress. We cut the front into details, altered the armholes and darts, and changed the sleeves a bit. Next, we need to make the flaps. The outer part will be made of the same fabric and the inner of lining. Next time we'll tuck the dress and Natalie will try it on. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. We are Pauk Irina and Natalie. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, share videos, press the like and the bell button. I really need your support. Thank you. Goodbye.